All right. So we're going to swap games here real quick. Um, so just bear with me while we take care of that. I'm going to give you some background music. And I have the physical copy of Bloodborne, so we got to take care of that. Bloodborne tonight, PETA. Right meow. Of course, right meow. <laughs> right heckin' meow. <laughs> I do have a physical copy, but it is the uh, <clears throat> Game of the Year edition. Nothing fun like a steel book or anything like that. And I took care of installing it yesterday. Because I had a feeling Madeir was just going to, you know, be a pushover. I joke. <laughs> please, please, that's a joke. Madeir is awful and difficult. And uh, we had to make sure, um, just in case, just in case I looked out and beat Madeir, that the game was ready. So let me change my category as well. Bloodborne. There we are. Oh yeah, and the beans, sword. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the reminder. And because I forgot, I'll do two beans for you, sword, okay? It is the old bandage or pomegranate. And we're just gonna mix that in with a little bit of, uh, of the old berry blue or toothpaste. All right, here you go. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's like the mintiest, freshest, oldest bandage ever. Oh. Mm hmm. It's like if you uh, squirted toothpaste onto a band aid that you just peeled off your arm. And then brushed your teeth with that. Mm. Sword, thanks for the bean. <laughs> thanks for the bean. I, I'm. I'll just pick play online. Why not? Ugh. Till the man is visible and the beast is invisible. It's pretty dark, and I still see the beast, so that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. <laughs> I do need some milk. Mm, we'll leave that default. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. Okay. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. All right. So, Wimpy, if you're still hanging about, I want you to help guide me through this. So we have the uh, the spirit of Rocco in this uh, in this character here for cinematic purposes. That's a great band name. Yeah. And it's R O C K O, right? Thank you. 
male. And he was a mature boy. That he was. Milk toast. Ordinary, happy upbringing. All attributes average. Would be a pacifist, so I don't think you want that much spirit. Okay. Um, Lone Survivor. Old Bandage Bean is the worst I've ever tasted. It's gross. Um, they don't have it in this one. They have the cappuccino and liver and onions in this one, but in the 5th edition, they had canned dog food or pudding, and the canned dog food is a very awful, very, very awful um, bean. Lone Survivor of Lost Hamlet. High life essence and vigor. You know? That sounds like Rocco, though. Suffered misfortune in youth. High resilient as a result. That... Terribly violent past. Rash, but stronger for it. Okay. Professional born specialist. Fit for sleuthing or academia. Experience in war. A soldier with strength and skill. Noble Scion. Scion to a respectable lion with faith in your pedigree. Face terrible hardships, but now confident in your purpose. We're definitely not doing waste of skin. I kind of like Lone Survivor. High Resilient fits best. Okay, let's do a troubled childhood then. <laughs> Get yourself a century egg. Eh. All right, send me one, Mattis. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, no, this is not that. And it's a blood level four run, Ra Raven. And you have to use waste of skin to do that. But we're we're not going to do that. We're going to do highly resilient for uh, for Rocco. Oh, I didn't know that about him, Wimpy. Let's see what sounds like. Which one sounds like him, Wimpy? Youthful, mature, or aged? Okay, let's do aged. He wasn't very burly, but he was a... He had a burly upper body. Uh, he was a big dog. Do we want very burly or burly upper body? Burly? Okay. We'll go burly. Head, I think his head was a little bit bigger. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, Max. We'll do a uh, a noise number for his head there. Philippines for a few years and regularly ate uh, balut eggs. He said it essentially tasted like chicken soup. What is uh, what is balut, if I'm saying that correctly? Skin color, he was a yellow lab. So do we go? That's pretty yellow. That is pretty yellow. Remember that third one down, right? On the left. Yeah, I like that one. Third one down on the left. But it's essentially a, a chicken and an egg that's not full formed, but cooked. Okay. Uh, beaks and feathers and all. Oh my, ugh. I think the texture would be a thing for me. Don't know if it's possible, but it did seem like he had red eyeliner. Uh, we can try it. Ooh. 
those cheeks probably had a little bit of white. He had a little bit of a pale on his bridge of his nose. I think most dogs get as they age. Skin color, kind of fine where it's at. Maybe darken it just a tad. Any of these face uh, presets speak to you, Wimpy? Got to do it without uh, looking, according to my Filipino friends. Okay. Yeah, that just sounds like a strange thing to eat. I don't like this one. His labs kind of have kind of like a boxy, kind of long face. Uh, did it get rid of the skin color thing? I think it did. What a pain. Why would changing a face default change your skin color? That's so goofy. In the mindset, you're eating a, a little boiled crab. Hey, that's fair. Hey, Effector of Change, welcome in. Nice to see you. I recently joined a stream team called the Treppies, and I do recognize Effector of Change from uh, the Discord. Welcome on in. Nice to see you. Uh, I don't know about that hot sauce power, though. I mean, it does mask some flavors of food, but uh, I don't think it can handle textures. <laughs> uh, they are pretty cool. They are pretty heckin' cool, and it's uh, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to be counted amongst the members. So, nice to see you. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Uh, and, uh, Effector, if you have, um, any preferred nickname or preferred pronouns, feel free to share those. I want to make sure you feel more than welcome around here. All right, there's, let's go with, uh, our features of the face now. Ooh, ghost pepper sauce is good, though. Yeah. Uh, he was aged. Right? So we'll go a little more aged on Rocco. He's a pretty masculine dude. We'll make him strunk. Uh, Effector is what most folks call me. Pronouns are he, they. Hey, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. I was away. Are we talking ghost pepper? Uh, we are talking a little bit of hot sauce. Um, because apparently that's how you eat a, um, where was it? It was a balut egg. Yeah. Really interesting food talk. <laughs> Facial balance. Well, he was a, a yellow lab, so he's going to have a wide, wide face. Not the widest, but just wide. Um, yeah, Maddest has done the century egg wobble pop. Uh, it's like a fermented egg, a balut, the balut egg. Um, I would say convex, right? Because convex is outward, right? Concave would be inward. Yeah. Uh, vertical face uh, spacing. A little more wide. Melinda's ghost pepper is one of the best sauces on the planet. I did see, Strufty, after you shared with me the uh, that sauce recommendation that they have a, like a, a sampler pack on Amazon. I might have to get that. I might have to get that. Facial feature slant. Go up a little bit. We're kind of 
There we go. There we go. I swear everything is a comparison to that. <laughs> uh, with food that you don't like, Maddest. Everything gets compared to that. Okay, forehead. Eh, we'll go slight. More towards convex. Let me make him less, make his nose a little flatter. Because we're going for um, an effector and anybody new around here. We... Uh, Named the character after our good friend Wimpy's dog, uh, Rocco. And so we're trying to do our best to capture his his essence. And we're gonna go wide nose, because it was a he was golden lab, so we need to go wide on the nose here. Trinidad Marugo Scorpion Sauce. But twice as hot, also tastes incredible. Very nice. Everyday Hot Sauce is Secret Aardvark Habanero. I'm going to have to look that up, too. Uh, Brow Ridge. Um, let's see here. Can we go low? kind of want the top of his head to go back in a little bit, though. Papatio or Cholula? Yeah, those aren't bad. Good kind of low heat sauces. Let's go back here. Forehead protrusion. And go a little more concave there. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Eyes, though. What is the... <laughs> hey, AJ. Welcome in, dude. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome on in. How was stream? How was Dying Light? Did you finish? Are you winning? Are you winning? He had big eyes. We're gonna go big eyes. Oh, well, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still eyes. a piece of garbage. <laughs> We got to do something about the eye shape here. We slant in or out. Okay, that's helping, I think. Eye spacing. Let's narrow those a little bit. Bring them in a little bit more. All right. Finished up story, so I have some cleanup challenges and then DLC. Very nice. Yeah, we finished up uh, Dark Souls 3 tonight. Uh, so we're starting Bloodborne, and then we got a little bit more of some side bonus content of Silent Hill 2 to do on Wednesday. And then Friday mornings working on Final Fantasy V. Wish I could play all these games every day. I wish I could. <laughs> Ridge length, moving along. Oh, the ridge depth we need to change. That's not the direction I wanted to go. <laughs> oh, you can change it. Oh, okay, there we go. I didn't realize you could use the shoulder buttons to. Uh... Yeah, let's bring the nose up a little bit. There we are. Yeah, we definitely want that to go out a little bit. Friday mornings watching some Final Fantasy V. Very, very cozy. Oop, uh, need to go take the doggos out. Hey, no worries, dude. Uh, can we get some hearts in chat for AJ? And AJ, give uh, Caddy and Sophie uh, all the best. Belly rubs, all the, all the good stuff. Maybe even another treat if they didn't get too many during stream tonight. 
Takis and Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Really into hot stuff. 12-year-old will try the same sauce as you do, and even hotter. 7-year-old likes to try just a little bit. Not enough to hurt yourself. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, let's see here. Don't lose height. Oh, you know what? Let's go... Um, and then the slant. You can kind of bring that up a little bit. Nice. We've got to do something about these eyes, though. You're just looking weird to me. Ooh, yeah. And then eye position, maybe we go down? Looking a little more natural there. Those were fine. Cheeks. Let's pull the... Can we move the lips up to closer to the nose? We could do that. <laughs> Pro Strat aerodynamic face. I don't think it makes that big a difference. So dogs have pretty thin lips for the most part. But we don't want them sucked in all the way either. Fullness. Eh. He's a happy boy. He's a good boy. Uh, first or open. Yeah, Rocco's a good boy. We need, we got some work to do though. <laughs> I don't know what I can do with his eyes. Maybe move the brow ridge up higher. Oh, there we go. That helps a lot. Now he doesn't look so angry. That's helping a bit. Okay. Now let's go back to the cheeks then. Um, there we are. That's looking a little better. That's looking a little better. Hey, Joe and Tay, welcome in. Also, a quick heads up for our unsubbed friends. You do have an ad coming your way in about three and a half minutes. Just a fair warning there for you. Uh, let's see here. Mouth, I think we're fine. Oh wait, mouth chin distance. Mouth position, that's fine. With narrow it a bit. There we are. Eh, that's not bad. It's not bad. I completed the DLC, um, including uh, the optional boss of the DLC. In case uh, Tay's hanging out with you, I don't want to give any spoilers. And uh, final boss on... Okay, let me walk back because it's going to sound confusing if I was going to say what I was going to say. Final boss was first try. Um... The optional boss I fought a lot last stream and it took three t attempts tonight. So, yeah, not so it gets confused that it was first try on both of them because that's definitely not the case. <laughs> what is occlusion? Is that like how far? Okay. Let's just go there. Mouth slant. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, bring in the lips just a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. She did a happy dance when she saw you were doing Bloodborne. <laughs> uh, and you said a bedtime. <laughs> well, don't you dare blame me for going to bed too late tonight. But I'm happy to see you. I'm very, very happy to see you. Your chin depth is going to be slight. And it's going to be small because dogs don't have big chins. It's more in the nose uh, and the mouth. And yeah, there we go. 
It's gonna be wide like the rest of his face. Nope. Yeah, let's bring it in a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a dog, kind of. Um, so our characters have been named after pets. And this is uh, as close as I'm getting <laughs> in the uh, Bloodborne character creator. Oh, that... What is with that, like, extra part there? Lower jaw. Can we do something with that? Yeah, I'm not a fan of how that, like, part down there just kind of hangs out. Yeah. Hunters, welcome in. It is finally Bloodborne time. It is finally time. I feel like I can do more with the uh, skin color and makeup. So Wimpy was saying almost like red eyeliner. Eyelid color. No, that's more like eyeshadow. Um, Hunter's Soul of Cinder was first try. And quick heads up, you got an ad coming your way in a few seconds. Uh, let's kind of do pale, because dogs kind of get a little bit of pale around their eyebrows. Eyeliner. We can go dark. Hey, there we go. I have not played this before. This is a first playthrough, Dragons. But welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. Food coma time for you. Have a great rest of your stream. Abby, very nice to see you. Very nice to meet you. Can we get some hearts in chat for Abby, please? Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, rest. Enjoy your food coma. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Rest well. Nice to meet you. Uh, red eyeshadow might be the closest. Okay. Let's go with that then. And around the eyes, can we do like a little bit lighter? Hey, that's not bad. Okay. Lipstick. Uh... Well, dogs kind of have like a dark lips. So do we just go full into the dark? Uh, I, I'm doing no summons on my first playthroughs of these. Um, so I did no summons and all bosses is the challenge I'm setting for myself. But uh, uh, thank you for asking, though. He looks like he's in pain. Looking a little emo. Is that what you're saying, Peta? <laughs> uh, Soul Center on first try is really impressive. I, I think I was over leveled though, uh, Hunters, and I did take down Madeir as well. On on the third try of the night, I took down Madeir. Yeah, that's probably not far off. <laughs> <laughs> Every Bloodborne character is in pain. Okay, eye area, lipstick, we did those. Okay. Facial hair. Do we want to give him a beard, Wimpy, or... Uh... He was yellow lab, so... Do we do kind of like a blondish? How are we going to get a blonde with this? Blow on the green a bit. That's like white. Hey, yeah, that's kind of... Blondish. It's not bad. Hair. You tell me when the hair speaks to you, Wimpy. Oh, does this one have a little ponytail going? Oh, a big ponytail. It's definitely not Rocco. <laughs> it's speaking. <laughs> it's saying many words. Anything short and shaggy. Okay. So... I'm not a big fan of this kind of like bob. Let's go with this. Um, all right. Okay. What about that one or that one? One or two? One or two? I don't know how to get rid of that, Raven. 
One? Okay. Hair color, we already did that. You want me to lighten up the hair a bit, Wimpy? I me to lighten it up a little bit. Like that? <laughs> One or two or three or four. Yeah. Are we at the eye doctor? Or are we at the optometrist? Let's just bump that up one more time. What about there? Huh? Iggy Pop? <laughs> yeah. I've been to an optometrist before, PETA. Is that one good for you, Wimpy? Or should we do one more brightness level? I think that one's pretty good. Browse. I think we were kind of fine with the brows we had. And then we'll bump these a bit lighter yet. Because dogs tend to get like brighter eyebrows. So where are we at? 200, 192, and 110. And 110. Let's just bump each of those up a bit more. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had glasses since like sixth grade, I think. No beard, okay. Eyelashes, oh, okay. Maybe we do some bigger eyelashes and we make those red. Uh, maybe a little too red. Let's darken those up a little bit. What about that, Wimpy? Maybe, uh, maybe we go back and get rid of some of the eyeshadow. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's better. Does the, the eyelashes give it kind of more of that eyeliner feel? Yeah, uh, eyes, what color were the eyes? And do we need to change the size of the pupils at all? Guessing kind of a brown, I don't remember, yeah. So let's go darker on these. Throw a little bit of green in there. There we are. That's a nice, pleasant brown. So 50 and 30. I dig that. Did he have, um, what's it? Did he have the different color eyes? I know some dogs do. It's usually typical in, in huskies, though. So just brown. Yeah, dichromatic, yeah. Thank you. I was looking for that word. Any marks or tattoos we should give him, Wimpy? that should we do any eyewear small scar on the nose okay let's go with this one and let's change actually that's kind of good let's move it to the left and about where on his nose wimpy now further up did it have like an angle to it? Kind of like that? Or was it like a horizontal? Is it a little bit smaller? Down a little bit. And like so? Does that work? Uh, vertical, close to the tip. Okay. Let's, uh... And then we're going to move that down. Kind of hard to see. Should we darken it a little bit? I 
something like so. <laughs> hey, thanks, Fist. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, and do we want to give him any glasses? Any sweet, fashionable eyewear? Or do we want to let those uh, beautiful brown eyes of his shine? Maybe if we change the form, Ephesus? That did get rid of that a little bit. Why is that changing the color? That was so weird. You want to see those big, beautiful eyelashes and eyes. That is fair. Peaks, lips, mouth, chin. You know what? Let's just even it out. I don't want that to just look so weird. <laughs> That's a little bit better. All right. I think this is Rocco. No, no, that is bugging me. Why? Why does it have to be like this? <laughs> Girls are green. Uh, no, we certainly don't want him looking weird. Yeah. You know, that might have to be it. as soon as the chin goes longer, it like has this weird blending with his so weird. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. That's not bad. All right, we got all that done. We got our save it as a favorite because he's our favorite boy. What do you say? Should we start with our uh... Best boy Rocco, who is a mature, troubled child. <laughs> Looks like he's holding his breath. Kind of does. Do we need to change that? Change the lips a little bit. Make him... Wait, we want... A concave? Maybe purse the lips a little bit. And then... Let's see here. Where was it at? Where was the lipstick? Forget where that was at. Oh, makeup. Right now, a little bit. Hey, there we go. That still kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Oh, well. I don't know how much we're going to be able to change it. Maybe with the because of the cheeks, right? Because they're looking a little bit. Uh, Concave them just a bit. No, that doesn't help. I kind of like that better, though. Yeah, there we are. It's Rocco. What about that? <laughs> Oh, Jared. Welcome in, dude. Not doxing at all. Is your name Rocco, who is a mature male that had a troubled childhood? All right, there's our contract. There's Rocco. Let's go. Let us go. 
Sorry if I missed some chat in there too. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Okay. Is this how I'm going to feel at the end of Bloodborne? That it was just a bad dream? Remember to hydrate everybody. Not everybody has access to fine medical care like Rocco here. Okay, that's something to uh, behold. I'm glad somebody saved me from that. Well, maybe I'm not happy with what saved me. Mm. Stay away. Stay away. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Okay, I don't even want to, I don't even know how to pronounce that. The fire, arms, inventory. Where are we at? By soft, because something? Welcome, good hunter. I take the, uh, I know very little about it. Oh, take the lead, yeah. Hey, Prince Leo, welcome in. We're just starting Bloodborne. Just starting. How's it going? Yeah, Raven is up super late. Okay, we got some arms to swing with. That's nice. Treat unknown thing with care. Eventually a wondrous special item. Okay. Sincere thanks, and may the good blood guide your way. Uh, yep. All bosses, all DLC, no summons. I don't know if there are summons in this game, but yeah. Uh, seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Okay, that's open door. Going good now? I was exhausted? I, I'm glad it's going better for you. Glad it's going better for you. It does not open. Okay, so we can only go one way. Let us go. Only souls born you've finished. I'm looking forward to finishing this one too, because uh, I want to get the Elden Ring. I want to get the Elden Ring. Uh, couldn't miss this all. Oh, you all are too heckin' sweet. Uh, okay, we know that control. Ooh, we got our rolls back. Very nice. Got some karate chops. Ooh, yep. We can still break everything. Oh, uh, this feels like... Like the tutorial boss that's going to kill me because I'm under-equipped.
There's the first death of Bloodborne. The ceremonial first death. Yeah, it's interesting that you did. Oh, yeah. So I originally wanted to do chronological order, but I just felt the gameplay style was different enough. Uh, that it would have been t difficult to go from Bloodborne back to uh, Dark Souls. So that's kind of the reason why I picked the order I did. I think for the rips. He actually can be killed. Yeah, it's like killing the Asylum Demon with the broken sword. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. And we've awoken in the Hunter's Dream. Doll. Okay. Trade in blood echoes with messengers. Okay. Well, we don't have any blood echoes. It's easier than that? Okay. Oh, gift. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Not that I don't like it. Uh, must haven't been able to get into taking a break from it. Yeah. Lots of good games out there. Alright, I'm gonna wimpy since this is uh, Rocco. Uh, what would Rocco use? The blunderbuss or the hunter pistol? Oh, uh, so the Hunter's Dream is the hub world? Okay, that makes sense. Well, he was already at half health, Peta, but I appreciate the, <laughs> the sentiment. Uh, that's a good question. If it, if it holds up to my path through the rest of the games, Joe, it's going to be panic rolling. But Wooly can learn. Hunted Pheasants, Blunderbuss it is. Notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants. Share them with hunters in other worlds. Very cool. Uh, the messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Saw cleaver hunter axe. Well, I have to go hunter axe now, Wimpy, because you said he hunted. Uh, so we got to go hunter axe. For, uh, for Rocco. We gotta do it. I'm keeping mouth shut here? Hey, I appreciate that. Um, but man, six playthroughs already. That is... That is a lot. Um, not quite sure yet. I mean, he was a big, strong dog. So, I mean, we could go strength build on this one. Or do I have to equip the... Okay. So the first two slots are right arm. They should have those switched. The right arm should be on the right. The left arm should be on the left. It just seems goofy to me. Nice. I'm guessing I have ammo, so I don't want to waste ammo. Closed. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it is super late for our UK friends. I don't I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Staying up this late. Okay, that's closed. Now it's early. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. A short ritual root chalice is required. Okay. Eh, I like the music. It's pretty soothing here. Everything's closed off. Back with snacks. What are you snacking on, AJ? Make us proper jealous. 
Okay, visceral attack. Interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly timed. Okay. Enemy from behind with a charge attack. Give stagger. Ooh, L1 transform weapon. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, I'm digging that. Brains from HP, okay. Which weapons? Oh, okay, up does the... Okay, that's the ammo thing. I uh, need to finish my playthrough and just start a new game of uh, what game there, AJ? Uh, Blackout Cake Oreos. I don't think I've ever heard of those. <clears throat> oh, AJ hasn't finished Bloodborne? Really? Yeah. Share the Oreos, please. Oh, those sound good. Very nice. Okay. So now we're like a boss away. Oh, just finish it. <laughs> All right, I guess we go back to Yarnum, I guess. Just do it, AJ. Make your dreams come true. Well, I'm gonna have to go to the store. <laughs> See if I can find those. DJ wife, uh, I suck because clinic. DJ wife, if you're uh, in chat, put them on our shopping list. <laughs> oh, this, so this is the wolf from earlier. Okay. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Almost had him. <laughs> Almost had him. Yosefka. Okay. Oh, it's is it a Y or is it just kind of pronounced that way? Yep, about this town. Yeah. It's pronounced Ios Kefka. <laughs> there we go. Come on. There we are. Give me your blood vials. You vile creature. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. I don't like all the moaning in here, though. Okay, triangle is to heal. Oh, because we don't have the, like, the dual wield type thing. So that's why the triangle... Okay. I see now. Oh, Yarnum. Did I read that? Yeah. Must accept madness. Well, I've been playing from soft games, so it's got to be madness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Downloaded the wrong version. downloaded the wrong Bloodborne. Alright, so I can't go that way. So probably this way. And if you can even find LimeWire anymore, then 
I don't know. You're definitely in a shady part of the internet. You can find LimeWire. We do. We don't have any gestures to start with. Oh, no, we do. And Rocco is a gentleman, of course. Can we do any, like, hide the HUD? Aha, we can. So we can still do screenshot. Hunter's Rally. Nice. Here we are. All right. Let's go ahead and throw the HUD back on. Lord knows we need it. Oh, Bloodborne cart. I do need to do that before I... Uh... Is this that out? Because I, I think before I start Elden Ring, it's going to be Bloodborne Cart and the PSX uh, D make of this. Dab all day. <laughs> okay, can't open that. Oh, hello, buddy. Nice. That move is powerful. That wasn't nice of that note to uh, fat shame around here. What is going on? I feel like I'm having a fever dream just reading the statements here. <laughs> It'll mess up your brain. Yeah, we love all body types. Especially AJ's. <laughs> uh, heading to bed. Have a good night. Hey, pizza. Have a wonderful, wonderful sleep. Can we get some hearts in chat for pizza, please? He's getting a little bit late here, too. But maybe we can make a little progress here. Okay, this lamp now transport you back to Hunter's Dream. Upon death, you'll awaken. Okay, cool. So now we have other lamps that we can uh, deal with here. If you ask people are going to bed, <laughs> yeah, you probably should too. But, you know, you're welcome to stay as long as you want, Raven. Let me give a shout out for pizza on the way out the door. Wonderful, all wonderful right, all pizza. right now, you're <laughs> overstimulated. Let's get some beer in you, and then it's right to bed. Woohoo! Beer, 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 beer bed, 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 bed. Wimpy, have a wonderful, wonderful night, my friend. Let me lift a big cheers to Wimpy. We've named our character after his best boy, Rocco. And we are going to uh, traverse Yarnum and whatever lies beyond uh, with good old Rocco boy. He's our best boy for Bloodborne. Here's my friend. We will talk in the morn. I can almost guarantee it. And have a wonderful, wonderful sleep. Named uh, DS1 Katadaya. Big piece, dude. Have a wonderful night. Ready for bed, too. Uh, when I get tucked in, I'm going to come back and watch a little more. Hey. Well, if you just end up lurking the rest of the time, PETA, I appreciate that. Hearts and chat for... Uh, for pizza and pita and also wimpy and all of our friends that are heading to bed okay dude ooh that that is strong i dig that That doesn't look like fun. Let's not go that way yet. Let's not go that way yet. Nice. 
Nice. Hey, I'm digging this. <laughs> that's my beer. Hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Chronic and crew, welcome on in. My name's Uncle Wooly. I play Souls games or Souls likes now on Monday nights. I uh, just started Bloodborne tonight after we finished Dark Souls 3. And currently working on uh, some extra stuff of Silent Hill 2 on Wednesdays and Final Fantasy 5 on Friday mornings bright and early. But welcome in, everybody. <laughs> How the heck are ya? Uh, let's get a shout out for Chronic. So let's go ahead and do that. There we are. If you haven't gone and said hello to the very, very chill and very welcoming Chronic when he's live, uh, please do so. Chronic's awesome. And we appreciate the heck out of that heckin' raid, man. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not ready to go down there yet, so we're just going to greet our raiders. And raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs. Roxy is a Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Uh, on the right is Lucy. She's a Shih Tzu that's four years old. And both of them are infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them, and they tolerate mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in the meantime. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Ooh, you were playing some uh, Persona 5? Ooh, very nice. I know you at least had top-notch uh, soundtrack with that game. I haven't played any of it, so I don't really know <laughs> what the gameplay is like, but my goodness, that soundtrack is something. Uh, let's see here. Hey, that's fine. That is fine. I'm down with the chill vibes. If somebody can out-chill me, I'm totally cool with that. All right. I think I've caught up here. Hey, welcome back from the lurk, Hagel. Good to see you. Hagel, on the other hand, absolutely no chill. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, that is not very welcoming. Let me open this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is from earlier. Oh, nice. We already got ourselves a shortcut. That's sweet. <laughs> oh, there's always subs, gift subs, and biddies, Joe. <laughs> but I can't guarantee it'll work. I can't guarantee it'll work. But you can try. <laughs> Um, yes, I did see that. It looks so good. It looks so good, Leon. Ooh, bullets. Very nice. Ooh. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to get used to the, uh healing with a uh, triangle. Oh, what happened here? Why are there so many of you now? Oh, that's even worse. Pin out the numbers. Pin out the numbers. <laughs> oh, no. There we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely trial by fire. I'm also excited about the new Evil Dead movie coming out next week. Next week already. Yeah, I thought I made a huge mistake, but we made it out. We made it out. <laughs> Oh, panic rolls. No, no bounds, Joe. Yeah, Evil Dead. That's why we're staying up playing this. No, Evil Dead. Um, new one comes out next week. Also, the Nick Cage um, Dracula movie called... Um, what was that called? 
I forget the name of it already. Uh, but that one looks pretty good too. Looks like that. John Wick 4 was good. I don't think I've even seen more than the first one. Yeah, Renfields, yeah. Mario movie, how was it, Hunters? I haven't seen it yet. Renfield, yeah. Seinfeld, Renfield, that one. <laughs> People who don't enjoy a good night's sleep. You think I get sleep? Strufty, you are hilarious, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Will he get sleep? When? Oh. What in the world is with these gank squads? Like, every corner, there's ten of them. Uh, thumbs up, Jack Black. I bet. I love Jack Black. Not good, not bad, just alright. Jack Black, good, though. Well, he played Bowser. Which is a really good casting choice. And Keegan-Michael Key from Key and Peel as Toad. I mean, that's a good choice, too. That's a good choice, too. I don't like that noise. All right, let's try. We haven't done any parrying yet. And we unlocked a shortcut, so we can try it. Oh. And maybe not with these guys. Buddy, stop it. Anyone in your circle who's not chill, I do this. Uh, friend of mine is super hyper, but it's good. Yeah. You got to. You got to have a mix of personalities. Makes it, makes it interesting. That's nice. Oh, come on. That was delayed. Bad timing, bad timing, and bad time. I just want to use this weapon this way the whole time. The whole time. This whole parrying stuff is for pro players. Soft had to put dogs in here. Oh, nope. How do I get to him? Oh, yeah. Stairs. Why are there just constantly more people? I mean, that's what I say in real life, too, so. 
buddy cop movies, you have the energetic one and the calm one. Yeah. It, it happens across many circles. The R2 was that on this, uh, on that one, Joe. Yeah, I just kind of prefer this one. Well, let's just go this way. Yeah, not a fan of that. Knocking at the door. I don't know how close I am to a first boss. I know it's still pretty early. But I also can't stay up too late tonight. You say it's worth staying up for at least one boss? They're just wonderful. I don't want to be in their company anyway. Are you telling me this is the first uh, Souls game where I don't have weapon durability? Strufty, I think we've made it. <laughs> oh, I, I did it earlier. Yeah, the, the big swing. Yeah, that it is fun. And AJ, the Konami code for Bloodborne 2? Okay. Up. Up. No, that's going to kill me. Maybe just on the joystick. Up, up. Down, down. Left, right. Left, right. X, circle. Screenshot, start. <laughs> it did nothing. <laughs> take a couple shots to take down, but it's not hard to shoot them. Hey. Yeah, making fun of me because I'm an outsider. It's not cool. What'd I win? <laughs> I know. I know. Oh. It's a shortcut, but do I want to go that way? Well, I guess we're going to have to. AJ just likes to with everyone. I get it. But he's a good guy. Our AJ is a wonderful guy. vials. Molotov. Torch. Can we open the... Oh, we can't open it. Oh, well. You'll become addicted after parrying once? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, yay. These are awful. Except for Bloodborne. You know, that gives me want to parry. I am not a big parry player. Oh my gosh, can you... Stop laughing at me, ladies. I'll get a parry eventually, okay? I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. I don't know. So I'll be a, a nasty crow in Bloodborne. <laughs> dredge. Uh, tell me more about Dredge. Can I open this gate? 
get any type of uh, fur cut here. that way. Oh, is this open? Ah. Closed by a device. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Nope. Oh, how... of Bloodborne. Oh, out of stock. No. Exhausted. Yeah. Glad you're doing well, though. Glad you're uh, feeling better. Prince Leo. Okay. Dogs are aggressive. Big pain. Oh. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice, though. That is pretty dang nice, though. Long axe is nice too, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I came up here last time. Let me in. Are you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Trot along, will ya? Fine. This weapon's so good, though. No need to parry when you can just hit him with the roll one, two. The old one, two. Did you move, Prince Leo? Did I miss him? Yeah, moving is no joke. Oh, still got a month. Okay. But yeah, packing and all that kind of stuff is a lot of work. 
Okay, I'm not yet used to the rally system in this. Because when you get hit, right, you don't lose your all your health right away. So when you do damage to enemies, you get a chance to uh, kind of gain it back. Oh, yeah, that's uh, sounds like a tough day for you too, Hegel. fine. Too many items down here, though. So many items. Oh, yeah. I can definitely see why people like that in this game. Yep. Get away from that man, man. Friends are coming to join the party too. Oh, that is nice. All right, let's use a vial here. I haven't quite got to our echoes yet. This game is fast, though. Holy cow! I thought Dark Souls 3 was fast, but this is really, really fast. Blessed to be playing this on PS5 uh, frame rate. I'm guessing. Ah, less prevalent. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's playing fun so far. Playing nice and smooth. Playing fun. Wow. <laughs> Wooly has best words when he's tired. Okay, so the glowing eyes denotes. Aha. I see. He's playing this on the PS4206 noise. <laughs> oh, I see. During boss fights. Well, there's a lot going on in this game. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that gun works for something. And it's nice against those dogs. I won't call these dogs. These are more wolves. Beasts. It's unfair to call them dogs. I don't like it. First week of Lulu uh, took a week from all my activities to ease her and cat. Yeah. That's nice that you were able to do that. That is tough. Uh, oh, hello. We have actual beasts up there. Just uh, not with that and say we did.
feel like there's got to be a shortcut. Here. Oh! Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Quick heads up uh, for our unsubbed friends. You got to add in just about a minute. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Go up, 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 Rocco. In path, don't be fooled. Ah, Bloodstone Shard. Think about this part a lot. I can see why. Very atmospheric. Oh, nice. Danger May. What in the heckin' world are you doing? Thank you for 21 months. It's insane to think about. Uh, which we're also doing big charity stream this weekend, if anybody's uh, hanging about. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Uh, on the 15th, we're going to do 15 hours. Should be a lot of fun, but uh, a lot of craziness. So hopefully uh, you're able to stop on by. Uh, 21 months of homie ship, lumber snacks, and sacrifices. Let's go. <laughs> Let's heck and go. Uh, but I have double birthday party and swimming lessons. Hey, don't worry. No worries at all. It's a Saturday. Lots going on. You're able to make it. Even for a little bit, that's cool. If not, hey. No worries there. Uh, hey, big lumbering dudes. Oh, baby. Let's go. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> In the arms <laughs> of the angel. That wasn't me that time. I didn't die like that. Uh, going to Top Golf for the Brown Law's birthday and have D&D. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm starting at 11 a.m. Uh, so we're going to end at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. So it'll be a good long one. Good long stream. That didn't work. Not that time. There we are. There we are. <laughs> yeah. Shania Twain. Uh, but that's actually uh, Sarah McLaughlin from the, uh, <laughs> like the AS, uh, it's a song they use in the ASPCA commercials. Let me get a one on one of these guys. Oh, we got it. Nope, we didn't. But then we did. <laughs> we didn't, but then we did. What should be criminal is the people that mistreat those poor animals that way. Where they end up there. That's what should be criminal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no worries. No worries. Shania Twain's still really good, though. Ooh, we made it. We made it. Okay. Not looking forward to these rats. some hearts in chat for danger me my goodness 21 heckin months that's hard still hard for me to believe oh and then he fell to his death oh yeah Ooh, we got some fashion <laughs> it's 
for every parry. Yeah, get Rocco in his hunter's clothes. Wait, do we not have weight uh, issues in this? Is encumbrance not a thing? One year, Joe and Tay? No way. One whole heckin' year. No weight issues and no weapon durability? Yeah, I'm... I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. I'm making some progress getting, uh, setting up OBS yesterday. Kind of proud of myself. Who says you can't teach old dogs new tricks? Oh. That's right. That is right. Uh, when is the first stream, or do you know? Oh, there is? Okay. I didn't realize there still was weapon dirt. Oh, but it takes a long time. Gotcha. Yep, true hunter fashion. There we are. Throwing knives. Oh, this game is fun. It's fast. I am jamming with this. <laughs> that don't impress me. Do you got the parries? Do you have the touch? Can you get a visceral strike on your enemies? Sorry. I don't know where I was going there. Be a weekend. I'm not saying a definite date till I know 100%. Hey, that's fair. But when you know, let us know. When you know, let us know. Okay. Just, uh... I don't know where I can go from here. Is there anything over here? No? no? Oh, there's ladder. Nice. Or is this the one I came down on? Oh, it's the one out of here. Aha. Okay. I don't feel like I've... Wait. What are you saying? What are you saying, Hegel? <laughs> yeah, I would uh, take some Bloodborne too, even though I've just started this one. Don't have to cuss in his stream while I do, so sub him and sub me too. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, the Eminem reference. I get it now. That was good. It took me way too long to get that. An embarrassing amount of time to get that. <laughs> I kind of think I want the blunderbuss against these. Can I aggro just one? One single aggro? What about one aggro? I'm gonna get both, aren't I? That's wonderful. <laughs> nope. Get out of there. Oh, no. Okay. In the arms there you go. <laughs> there's the 
here's a good spot to play it. That's the spot to play it. They got hands, they do. That might be it for me tonight. I have to be up early. Unless I'm getting really close to a boss. Take a look yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. I don't uh don't wanna be overtired for tomorrow. I got a big day at work, so. Yeah, that's where we're gonna stop Rocco's playthrough here of uh, Bloodborne. And what's uh, our stats so far? Where is he? Blood level ten. You fell. <laughs> I did, Arthur. I did. Lana. Danger May. Lana. Danger May. Lana. Danger May. Lana. <laughs> what? Danger, danger zone. zone. Thank you for the danger zone. Thanks for uh, hanging out tonight, everybody. We finished Dark Souls 3. I'm very excited to be starting a new game, starting some Bloodborne, and uh, we'll carry on with this next week, doing some Born from a Wish side content um, uh, from Silent Hill 2 on Wednesday, and then continuing uh, Final Fantasy V on Friday. And of course, a uh, big heckin' charity stream this weekend. Gonna do some Nitro Stream Racing, some getting over it. Also going to be doing a Limbo Off with Hobo Baggins. And uh, some other fun community games. Some Jackbox games, of course. And then uh, some trophy hunting on um, God of War Ragnarok. We're gonna take down the other Berserkers and hopefully the uh, secret boss. And what else? What else are we working on? Also going, it's been a thing for me to play a uh, uh, Amika game uh, during a charity stream, so I will be playing Father's Day. Um, so it is for direct relief. Um, and let me just do that. Uh, direct relief is a humanitarian. Boy, that's really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the the game music here. Uh, direct relief offers humanitarian and disaster relief for not only the US, but uh, the globe. So it's a, it's a pretty cool organization. We uh, did some fundraising for them last year during the anniversary stream. So I plan to do the same thing this year. And a lot of their efforts right now are towards the Turkey, Syria earthquakes and whatnot, and the uh, continued fallout from that. Have I seen the Gimli Saxman? Um, I think I have. I know I've at least heard a lot of references to it, like the and my sax, and that is why my one sound alert thing is called that. Yeah, I have a ton of biddies to catch up with and some subs and some raids. Uh, let me make sure too to thank the biddies that came over from sound alerts, because I don't always see those. I don't always see those. So, uh, let's see here. Hobo Baggins. That is basically Hobo with the Wilhelm Scream, the Live to Win biddies. Thank you very, very much. Those are much appreciated. Uh, also, our raids tonight, and they went in this order, so we're going to uh, thank them in this order, was Myth Wizard. And also... Wobble Pop, thank you very, very much, my friend, for the raid. And Chronic. Uh, let's see. We had Danger May with a 21 heckin' month resub. Uh, resub from Bethany, and Bethany also had a gifted. Uh, and a gifted sub from Hobo Baggins. My goodness, look at all you beautiful people. Seriously, if you uh, encounter any of these beautiful streamers, go. Check out what they're doing. Give them a give them a follow if you like what you're seeing there. Also got biddies from Raven and Hobo, and I think I got it covered. I think so. Uh, Mattis Dog, I need to catch him because he threw in a large amount of biddies. Um, yeah, 
let's let's definitely take care of that too. <laughs> now Hobo's awesome. Follow with him because he's the wonderful dumpster fire that we know and love. <laughs> um, Mattistog, yeah. Let's give him a shout too. All right, let's find somebody to raid out to. And while we do so, let's give you some puppy cam. Where's that puppy camera? Hey, there it is. Oh, hi. Thanks Sle for checking in. Babe. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy babes. And that's where we're going to be soon, too. Uh, if you can stick around for the raid, that would be awesome. We're going to find a uh, wonderful person to raid out to. AJ, thank you. Good to see you, dude. Ever heard someone call the dumpster fire that I don't love? That is true. <laughs> that is true. Um, let's see here. Twitch. Uh, Where are you at? Where are you at, Twitch? Uh, do we raid to Jess Capricorn? She's doing a Soul Level 1 or Rune Level 1 playthrough of Elden Ring. We could go over there. Um, we raided to Don Polione, uh, doing some Mario Kart tonight. Could raid over there. Jose is doing some Just Dance 2023. What do you guys feel like? Any strong opinions? Uh, Nerd Smash is playing some Final Fantasy fourteen. Or do we check out somebody doing their first playthrough of Dark Souls 3? Should we see if anybody's doing that? Since that's what we just finished tonight. Yeah, let's take a peek. Let's take a little peek. Anybody on a first playthrough? Oh, you know what? That's where we're going to go. Uh, Persepony has raided us before. They're on their first playthrough of Dark Souls 3. And we haven't had the chance to return the favor. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's definitely make sure they're not about to raid out or quit. Yeah. Let's definitely do that. And also, where are my buttons here? Uh, it's still April. It's still spring. It's still Easter month. So we're going to do still rock the excellent woolly raid while we can. Oh, they're on the Sister Freida fight. Excellent. Yes, let's raid over there. Let's raid over there. Um, okay. I'm going to give a shout out for uh, Persepony. You love the rabbit emote? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. How dare they? How dare they, 37? <laughs> Um, so we're going to give a shout out to Persepony so you know how to find us. That's where we're going. They're in the middle of the Sister Freida fight, so let's give them all the hype that we can. And I'm going to pull the puppy cam off, say goodnight to, uh, what did I say? DJ wife. Did I say something weird? What do you mean what? What do you mean what? Sister Freda. Persa Pony. What what the what? <laughs> oh. Okay. I thought it was something I said. Anyway, that's where we're raiding. I'll hit you with the raid messages one more time. First one is for subs, second one is for non-sub friends. And let's give them all the hype that we can and uh, get them through the battle, because it's a tough one my 37th clone. Don't don't you dare tell people about my clones, AJ, okay? Okay? Don't you dare. <laughs> it's everything I say. That's true. That is true. Thank you, everyone, for the wonderful night. Thank you for the raids from Myth, uh, from Wobble Pop, and Chronic. You all are heckin' amazing, and we did it. We finished Dark Souls 3. We're on the Bloodborne, Prince Leo, AJ, Joe and Tay, DJ Wife, uh, Hobo Baggins, Maxwell, Copper Hammer, um, Danger May, Hegel. Who am I missing? I'm sorry. There's so many beautiful people here. Until Wednesday where we continue more Silent Hill 2. Take care of yourselves. Get hydrated. Don't stay up too late playing Bloodborne. <laughs> Take care of each other. 
and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Cheer on Persephone as they take on Sister Freyda, and uh, big cheers, everybody. Take care. Pilgore, have a wonderful night. Cheers. <laughs>